Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made, and let us rejoice and be glad in it. And it is uh, glad and rejoicing because we have uh, the given wisdom of God, and that is the Scriptures. That is the Word of God, the Word of God that became flesh, that is Jesus Christ. Wisdom is Jesus Christ. And we get to see that unfold before us in this section of chapter 8 of the Proverbs. We're going to be looking at verses 12 through 21. And in the in this section, uh, we get to span scripture. And uh, I, I want to read to you first and foremost uh, from Isaiah chapter 11. Isaiah chapter 11 uh, talks about the gift of the Spirit and the gifts of the Spirit, uh, meaning that it is really sevenfold. Uh, and it's, it's a prophecy of being able to say that the one who is coming from Jesse, which was Jesse, and then David was his son, King David. And from the lineage of David comes this Savior, comes this this king, this earthly king, but heavenly king, that is going to have these gifts of the Spirit bestowed upon him. Um, and Proverbs 8 uh, was really the forecast of this. Isaiah picks this up um, in his uh, prophecy, and then we get to see that Paul picks it up in Ephesians. So we get to span scripture this morning um, as we'll first and foremost read Isaiah chapter 11, and then we'll go back to uh, Proverbs 8, and then span ahead to Ephesians chapter 3. And so let me read to you Isaiah chapter 11, just the first couple verses. It says this, A shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse, from, its, from his roots a branch will bear fruit. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him, number one, the spirit of wisdom and of understanding, the spirit of counsel and of power, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of of the Lord, and he will delight in the fear of the Lord. So you get to see uh, in Isaiah chapter 11, verses just 1 and 2, that the one who is going to be the branch has these, uh, uh, frankly, has wisdom, as Proverbs is going to say. But we say it is the Spirit of God. And these sevenfold spirits and gifts are given to this person, which is wisdom. And we get to personify wisdom, once again, as I started this video, being able to say, wisdom is Jesus Christ. And so wisdom in Proverbs 8 is going to be able to speak the same language. Actually, it's the, the foreknowledge language to Isaiah and to Ephesians um, about Jesus. Wisdom is Jesus. And so we pick that up in chapter 8, beginning at verse 12. You're going to see that as Wisdom is speaking. It's going to be speaking about all those gifts that Isaiah spoke about as well. It says, I, verse 12, I, wisdom, dwell together with prudence. I possess knowledge and discretion. To fear the Lord is to hate evil. I hate pride and arrogance, evil behavior and perverse speech. Counsel and sound judgment are mine. And I have understanding and power. By me, kings reign, and rulers make laws that are just. By the princes govern, and all nobles who rule on earth. I love those who love me, and those who seek me find me. With me are riches and honor, enduring wealth and prosperity. My fruit is better than fine gold. What I yield surpasses choice silver. I walk in the way of righteousness. Excuse me. I walk in the way of righteousness along the paths of justice bestowing wealth on those who love me and making their treasuries full. I want to make that distinction once again between uh, the woman of wisdom and frankly the woman of foolishness or the adulteress as we saw in the last videos. And the distinction is um, you seek and you find the woman of wisdom. The one of folly and the one of foolishness, the one of adulteress, she seeks and tries to pursue you. Um, and so as you seek wisdom, as you are given the gifts of the Spirit uh, to be able to seek that wisdom, you will find that wisdom, and it will be of counsel, it will be of judgment, it will be of knowledge, it will be of fear of the Lord as the gifts keep going on and on. And being able to understand that wisdom is Christ, is that when we walk as Christians, uh, we have that wisdom of understanding of how to walk and how to, frankly, uh, proclaim to other people who we are, and frankly, who our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is. Paul did that. Paul did that as he understood that he was called uh, to be able to have that same gift of wisdom, or frankly sought that wisdom in his walk. And he uh, speaks about that in chapter 3, starting in verse 8 in Ephesians. He speaks about to the Ephesians, uh, saying this, chapter 3, verse 8, Although I am less than the least of all God's people, this grace was given me, 
to preach to Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ. Not of wisdom, but the riches of Christ. And what are those? Those are far more val valuable than jewels, far more valuable than gold, more than silver, more than the fruits that of the crops. Um, uh, but it is very like liking of the fruits of Christ because it keeps bearing. It keeps being planted. Um, it, it sees the fruit that is bared um, from, frankly, the wisdom that is bestowed. So, says the unsearchable riches of Christ. And to make plain to everyone the administration of this mystery, which for ages past was kept hidden in God, who created all things. His intent was that now, through the church, the manifold wisdom of God should be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly realms, according to his eternal purpose, which he accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord. Wisdom is Christ. And as we walk in Christ, we walk in wisdom. And being able to personify and search more about what this wisdom and what these gifts are, the Lord has given you the gift of grace and the riches of Christ are yours. Wisdom is yours, and God has bestowed that upon you, and you are blessed to be able to walk in that. So I pray that you walk in that wisdom. I pray that you walk in Christ this day so that others may see the grace given to you, the joy that you have, that heaven is your home, and that, frankly, Christ is your Lord and your Master. Have a blessed day in that walk.